Today on Excite Video Magazine, we check out S chassis at Stance Nation Nagasaki. <laughs> We're here in front of the Eurus booth, and this is Nomiken's new aero lineup for 2017. I actually covered this in the Fukuoka Custom Car Show video, and I have a video coming up a little bit later just on this car. Check the link in the description to see more of this R34, or stick around for S chassis goodness, including another Nomiken creation. The first time I saw this S13 Silvia was at this event. It's a cliche to say good things come to those that wait, but this time it's 100% true. Eurus's Aero sometimes has a dated mid-2000s look, but this car proves that it's all about execution. The Type 4 kit could be retro in a tacky way, but when paired with the Type D front diffuser, it becomes this amazing track battle-ready Aero. Again, on the fenders, I hate most vented fenders, but paired with the new semi-works fenders, it just works. I know, I know, bad joke, awesome styling. On the rears, it's good too. I would have paired it with 30 millimeter over fenders, but whatever, it still looks good. Check out this wing. And yes, it's a wing. According to Eurus, it's an aluminum drag wing. It adds to that track car look while keeping the rear sleek and minimal. The stance and camber is perfect on the race 57 CR Grand Lights. Some people might not really get the eyes on the windshield, but my wife told me that it's from a famous brand of Simbe, which is like a rice cracker in Japan, and that company's from Fukuoka, and Nomiken is also from Fukuoka, so it makes sense. I don't know if the hood is available from another company or not, but I'm thinking it's a Type 1 vent molded in, but it looks good. Inside we have bride seats, Dio Japan racing harnesses, Nomiken signature triple gauge pod, a personal steering wheel, vertex shift knob, and a drift knob, of course. My god, this car wins on so many levels. And the problem is, what do you follow that up with in a video? I have no shame showing the Neo Project cars again. In fact, I will show them every time they are at a show. Not a lot has changed since the Fukuoka Custom Car Show, and that's okay. These cars are killing it in this state right here. The yellow 180 does have a 1UZ V8 from Toyota in it. We don't get to see the blue S14 as often, but look, it's a Zinke and it looks awesome. The wheels are so blinging that they look gold, but that's just a reflection of the yellow 180. Just pointing out that this car is not all show and no go. They recently crashed at a drift event, and in less than a week they were ready to go for the dangerous stance event, which I wanted to go to, but I didn't get to make it. I love Zinke, so I'm super pumped to see one looking this good. The last S chassis on the menu today is this dope S15 wide body that's also by Neo Project. This GT inspired kit is what introduced me to them in the first place. This thing is wide. It makes me want to buy an S15. Looking from the back of the front fenders, you can see that it's at least 80 millimeters wider on each side. A perfect match for those Shogun A118s. The back is just as wide as the front, finished off with a nice little Rocket Bunny duckbill action. If you like the cars, throw a like on the video and share it with your friends. Subscribe so you can catch more awesome cars from Japan. Peace. A thing.